Welcome to Falcon TV. Subscribe to the channel to stay informed and inspire us. The First World War, lasting from 1914 to 1918, was an unprecedented global conflict that emerged from a complex interplay of long-brewing political, economic, military, and social factors that had been escalating across Europe and the world in prior decades. Though the immediate trigger was the assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand, heir to the Austro-Hungarian Empire, this tragic incident only unleashed years of pent-up tensions, rivalries, and overlapping alliances that swiftly drew nearly all of Europe into catastrophic war within weeks. The fundamental, long-term causes that paved the way for such a monumental conflict to arise from a regional dispute in the Balkans had been developing for many years as part of an intensely competitive environment between the major European powers. Imperialism and Colonial Ambitions By 1900, the majority of the world's territory had been claimed through colonies, protectorates, or spheres of influence by imperial powers like Great Britain, France, Germany, Russia, and the declining Austro-Hungarian and Ottoman empires. This 19th-century scramble for Africa and other lands led to frequent disputes over scarce colonial possessions and resources. It also fostered an atmosphere of nationalism, greed, and prestige-seeking as each power looked to expand its global reach and influence. Control of critical trade routes, ports, and markets abroad was seen as vital for economic and military supremacy. Britain's vast empire spanned five continents giving it unparalleled naval dominance and wealth through which it financed allies. Meanwhile, Germany had arrived late to the imperial game in the 1880s under Kaiser Wilhelm II and aggressively sought to catch up with acquisitions in Africa, the Pacific, and China. But Germany's ambitions threatened Britain's supremacy and its lifeline colonies. Imperial rivalries raised tensions as alliances were made to protect interests abroad. When crises erupted over colonies, as occurred in the Moroccan crisis of 1905 and 1911, they risked sparking wider wars between the delicate European power balance. Imperial domination also fostered feelings of nationalism, militarism, and antagonism as subjugated peoples resisted, further destabilizing regions. Military Buildup and Wartime Technology The decades before World War I witnessed an unprecedented militarization across continental Europe. Conscription was introduced or expanded, increasing active duty armies and reserves into the millions ready for rapid mobilization. Germany in particular accelerated its arms buildup under Kaiser Wilhelm II, boosting its standing army to 4.5 million by 1914, second only to Russia. The Kaiser aimed to project German power abroad, check Russia's growth, and challenge Britain's naval supremacy. Germany and Britain fueled an escalating naval arms race of battleship and dreadnought construction that raised tensions. New technologies radically transformed the lethality of warfare right before World War I machine guns, long-range artillery, grenades, poison gas, aircraft, tanks, submarines, and more were rapidly engineered. Military strategists did not adequately account for how these modern weapons would increase attrition. The promise of offensive force led to plans reliant on bold early attacks, rather than defensive resilience. This created an atmosphere where generals and politicians were confident any war would be brief and decisive. Militarization was also backed by intensified nationalism that justified armed strength as essential for defending the motherland. Elite military academies and patriotic organizations like the Boy Scouts swelled nationalistic pride. Global military spending consumed vast national resources, nearing $1 billion annually in Britain and Germany each. This mass arming was mutually suspicious, fueling rivalries between neighboring powers. Tangled Web of Alliances By the early 1900s, a complex network of mutual defense alliances and treaties had divided Europe into two opposing blocs. The Triple Entente of France, Britain, and Russia counterbalanced the Triple Alliance of Germany, Austria-Hungary, and Italy. Smaller states aligned with each side. If any nation was attacked, it could invoke these alliances and rapidly escalate what might have otherwise remained a small conflict. Some alliances like Britain and France's Entente Cordiale aimed to settle long-standing colonial disputes. Others like France allying with Russia served to protect against dangerous neighbors like Germany or Austria. Often secret appendixes partitioned lands and spheres of interest, as seen in the Constantinople Agreement where Russia and Britain agreed to respective control over the Turkish Straits and Persia if the Ottoman Empire collapsed. This web of alliances was partly defensive, but also aggressive in encircling rivals. 
It severely limited neutrality or mediation in a crisis. Many historians argue this rigid alliance structure more than anything else made what could have been a regional war into a protracted global conflict by pulling major powers into the fray based on voluntary obligations rather than direct interests. Nationalism and Assassination The spirit of nationalism was reaching feverish intensities across Europe in the early 1900s. Italy and Germany had newly unified in the mid-1800s inspiring nationalist pride. The Ottoman and Austro-Hungarian empires were declining amid breakaway movements like the Balkan states which gained independence. Oppressed groups like the Serbs and Czechs sought autonomy free of imperial domination. This nationalism was both liberal and authoritarian. Peaceful nationalism manifested in cultural renaissances through music, literature and language revival. Militant nationalism took on aggressive tones of demagoguery, social Darwinism, and glorification of the armed nation-state. Some figures like pan-Germanist Friedrich von Bernhardi rejected international cooperation and justified war as necessary for national growth. Extreme Serbian and pan-Slavic nationalism motivated the secret Black Hand Society to assassinate Austrian Archduke Franz Ferdinand in 1914 for his empire's control over Bosnia-Herzegovina. This act lit the tinderbox of alliances and rivalries, as Austria-Hungary delivered an ultimatum to Serbia which Russian aligned to protect fellow Slavs. Germany joined Austria under alliance obligations. Europe's nationalistic passions added fuel to the fire by readily mobilizing populations for war in defense of sovereign honor. Arms race and technological advancement. The decades before World War I saw the world's most formidable military buildup amid an intense arms race between imperial rivals. Europe's total military personnel jumped from 2 million in 1870 to over 7 million by 1914. Advances in weapons technology enabled mass production of new artillery, ships, vehicles, planes, and munitions. Both sides believed seizing the offensive with these newly engineered weapons could deliver swift victory. Britain launched the HMS Dreadnought in 1906, rendering all previous battleships obsolete. Its big guns, armor, steam turbine engines, and industrial mastery extended British naval dominance. This triggered an arms race as Germany rapidly built up its own dreadnought fleet to counter Britain, launching dreadnought construction programs in 1907 and 1912. By 1914, Britain had 29 dreadnoughts compared to Germany's 19, but the balance of power was shifting. Machine guns, accurate long-range howitzers, and heavy mortars gave infantry and defenses a new lethality. France pioneered using quick-firing field guns on the offensive. In 1905, Britain manufactured the first large-scale tank prototype. France and Germany were the first to use planes for reconnaissance and aerial combat. Germany focused on siege tactics with super-heavy howitzers and railway guns like Big Bertha, which could hit Paris from 75 miles away. Pre-war planning relied heavily on new offensive capabilities. But defensive firepower was underestimated, enabling slaughterous trench warfare stalemates to persist for years. Technology advanced further during the war through combat aircraft, flamethrowers, and mustard gas. Both sides were well armed through their maximalist military production and trade interdependency before the war began. World War I arose from several long developing trends including militarism, alliances, imperialism, and nationalism that fostered an environment ripe for a major conflict. Nonetheless, Europe did not have to descend into war in 1914 even after the assassination of Archduke Ferdinand. Concentrated diplomacy could have contained the crisis. But fatal miscalculations and hawkish decision-making during July 1914 led to a tipping point where war became inevitable due to the tangled obligations and military plans in place. The Great War devastated Europe through unprecedented bloodshed, fundamentally reshaping the geopolitical landscape. Its profound costs and consequences highlighted the dangers of radical nationalism, unchecked militarism, inflexible alliances, and imperial ambitions that prize sovereignty over humanity lessons that would tragically be ignored as the world stumbled into further catastrophic wars throughout the century. If you liked this video, please subscribe to the channel and give a thumbs up. Thank you.